Okay, so, yeah, you can go ahead. Alright, cool. Can you see my mouse moving okay? Yeah, I can see it. Cool. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in. When we first log in, you see you're automatically in the quotes tab. You're going to have a quotes tab and a contracts tab. Just like the tabs say, that's where you're going to manage such things. So, contracts is where you manage contracts. The first step when you get a bill copy is you're going to go in and get quotes. There's three options here, quick matrix, standard matrix, and custom quotes. Uh, custom quotes is how you'll initiate those larger deals that we talked about earlier, and we'll get to that a little bit towards the end. Uh, but for this, we're going to, uh, for the beginning, we're going to go through the matrix. So you see that there's quick and standard. Um, both are going to get you the same pricing. The difference between, if you'll notice, if I click quick, it's only going to have you enter the basic criteria off of the bill copy. If I go to standard, it's going to have you enter a lot more of the bulk of the information, like the name of the business and the contact, all that stuff. The reason why some... Can, can you still hear me okay? Yeah, I can. So the reason why some people may want to go through standard, I would say the majority of people probably go through quick, but a lot of, some people may go through standard because you'll notice if I click on the quotes tab here, It'll have each of these tabs that are basically like the, how they're filtered. When every well, business name and contact name. If you go through Quick Matrix, these will stay empty. And so, when reverting back to a quote, you kind of have to find it by what the total volume and the utility is. So, um, if some people like to go through standards, so that way they can find it easy. The Quick Matrix, like I mentioned, is where you just enter the basic info from the bill copy. So for this deal that you're referencing that you have the bill copy for, is it electricity or gas? Electricity. Okay. And we know it's going to be commercial for the type. What state? Uh, it would be Texas. Okay. And do you know the utility? Um, I guess you just click center point for now. Is, that, is the bill copy you have not center point? No, it is. Okay, cool. Just making sure. And the zone is Houston? Yes. And what's the total annual volume for the year? Um, let's say 382,000. Okay. And you'll notice current rate doesn't have a red asterisk. It's not required. But there actually is a benefit to putting that, and I kind of want to show you where that would play in. So what is the current rate that they're paying? 7-4. Gotcha. Actually, 7-5. Seven, 7-5-5. Five. Gotcha. Seven, five, five. gotcha. Whatever. So you'll put their current rate in. What's the requested start date we want the contract to start on? December 12th. Uh, uh, sorry, not December 12th. 12-25-2018. <laughs> 12, 12, for 2018 start? Yeah, the 25th, yeah. Gotcha. Now, just a heads up, um, there's a chance that we may probably only see a couple suppliers for this just because of how far in advance it is. So if you only see, like, one or two suppliers, keep in mind they're we're contracting them sooner. Keep in mind what? 25, right? Say it again? You said keep in mind what about contracting them sooner, or...? Like, you, you're probably, if we see any suppliers, you're probably only going to see, like, one or two since this is so far in advance. Hmm. Uh, so not a lot of people will do contracts out that far? I mean, that's not even that far. Well, some suppliers, they have, I mean, they have, they're not going to, I mean, like I said, for, for their matrix pricing. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay, I could get that, I get that, yeah. And then, the, so you'll notice you can put the, what the load is here. And if you're not, if, I mean, if you're not familiar with what it is immediately, there's a load factor calculator option. And if you press this, it'll calculate it for you based on the criteria. So on that bill copy, what's the monthly usage? Um, here. I have to pull it out. I had it pretty much memorized, but... Um... What do we got here? What do we got?
to say their monthly usage is I mean it's 16 meters so that's what the combined total annual usage was for the account was 360 I mean 382,000 annually and then um, just do uh, 30, 30, 31,000 yeah No, I do not. That is going to be on the bill copy. It's going to be where see what the KW is. How many kilowatts they use in a specific given hour. Yeah, I was trying to use it with, I was trying to get all the information without pulling the actual bill copy up here. Hold on. I had to just go into my iCloud. Matrix deals are 10 meters or Yeah, do you want me to use that instead? Yeah, can we do that instead? Because I just, I'll have to check I mean, with my development team to see if they'll do more. And allow us for matrix. Put in up to Okay, yeah, let's just, <laughs> yeah, let's do a different one there. Then. It's going to be the same center, uh, same utility and zone. Uh, yeah, it will still be the same ability and zone. Yeah. So are we actually signing something right now, or we're not going to do that, right? I mean, we're just going to... No, I mean, we, yeah, we want to, because we want to make sure that the time I'm spending going for it. Okay. Well. Do you have anybody that's going to be, going to contract? Do you have anybody that's going to sign you know, for the contract today? Yeah, I mean, that's what I was, that's what some of my meetings were on later today here. Because um, one isn't in my entire neighborhood, you know. And there's another one that we're also doing an HOA on. Um, and so, I mean, we're, it's not like uh, I don't want to sign them up without their permission, you know? Right. So, I, well, this they're... Well, when we go through this, this isn't going to sign them out without their permission. You're just basically generating, getting pricing, and then you can't even generate a contract. So that way, if you already know what their current you know, the permission, you're like, great, because I already have a contract ready. Oh, okay. I th okay, yeah. Well, that's fine. I thought, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, then, okay. Dang it, all these ones are like 10 meters and, um... Sounds like you got some good deal. <laughs> well, I mean, I got, like, grocery stores, hotels, and, uh... I'm trying to find this one. I know I have one individual restaurant bill here. Oh, okay. That'll be perfect. Yeah, that'll be definitely good. From the process. Well, I mean, yeah, he's got. We're we're getting seventeen of them, but uh, I have one bill copy from the actual. Here it is. Okay, let's go. All right, yeah, we can use this one. All right. Uh, so do we have to start over? So the annual usage, I guess, would be their their okay. monthly usage is fourteen thousand one hundred. Gotcha. They're current. Multiply that by ten or twelve. I see. I've seen it done. I did do ten and a half, but whatever. Ten. Okay. Ten point five. Yeah, ten point five. Whatever. That's about one hundred and forty-eight thousand. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Current rate, do you know? Yeah, four seven six. Um, 
Four twenty four two thousand seventeen. Yeah, 14,100. Are you looking for the demand right now? Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me look at that. Uh, here's more. Demand is 45. Oh. This is for the month of January or just... This is for the month What's of uh, October through November. Oh, gotcha. I mean, yeah, I know how to do that calculation already. Yeah, I know, yeah. Okay, there we go. I can see it now. I was just, I couldn't zoom in. I had to click the zoom in button there. Um, oh, gotcha. Do, yeah, so let's, let's get a 48 month. Yeah. Okay. Right before we proceed, I'm actually going to show you a couple other things real quick. Um, so I'm, anytime you enter something into a filter up here, to, to make sure that it eliminates everything else but that, you'll press apply. That way it will load a lot quicker. So that way it's like, oh, boom, we have 48 month options. And then the final two filters here are broker fee and desired price. Okay. So right, we'll, we'll actually do this for real here in a second, but I want to show you how this will function. So let's just say, for example, if you're like, I know I want to put five mils on the deal. If you set a broker fee and apply it, it'll already have apply the it. Broker fee column be fixed with a with the variance in the selling prices. Right, yeah, that's cool. Okay, yeah. Right. So obviously if I take that out and you see broker fee is a zeros, we're now we're looking at the raw rates here. Yeah. Desired price, this would be if you know an exact price you want to offer them. So let's just say you wanted to offer them four or five. What that will do is that will fix the selling price column and show you the variance in the broker fee column. So while the customer's paying the same price, which suppliers will be able to give you the most opportunity for margin? Right. So, that being said, um, oh, and actually, right before we do proceed, I want to show you one more thing. If you come across a customer that wants to see multiple prices and you want to show them, like, a pricing sheet. Of like prices, a pricing presentation, side. yeah. to them, you'll notice the ones that I check, they filter down here at the bottom. 
Okay. And then what you'll do once you have the ones at the bottom that you have filtered, you'll press save and print. Okay. Okay, give it just a second. It's going to create for us a PDF. It's going to have the price, the pricing. See, it's got all your info down here. Obviously, the prices are all the same on this one because I set it at a fixed price, but if you do by margin, it'll be different. And then what it will normally do is it will take the lowest price, but in this case, it's the one that shows up first, the star text. And then based off that, this is where it's beneficial if you put the current rate. You'll see the current rate here, and then based off of the current rate, it'll give you an estimated monthly savings, estimated total savings, estimated savings percentage. <clears throat> nice. So at that point, we're back here. So now we want to proceed with this like for real. So is there um, very specific, uh, specific margin you're wanting to add? Oh, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to. You want me to, the sell price? What we're gonna sell them at? There's no specific yeah, margin sell. that like I go by or anything like that. I just uh, we're gonna try to sell them at like a four nine. Yeah. Are you? Do you think they'll go for paying a higher rate, even though it's long term? Okay. Well, yeah. Well, if it's that long term, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I can sell that stuff all day long. Okay. So, I just want to make. I just want to make sure you're confident in doing that. Wait. So, I mean, is this go? Does this tie into if we generate this contract for practice or whatever? You know, I mean, does that go into your sixty percent close ratio or something that you got to maintain and from y'all's contract? No, you can do test. You can do test example ones in here all day if you want. Just oh, to okay. The name of the business, like. Yeah. But um, I do. I do expect that. I mean, obviously, I understand if you need to regenerate or do this one differently. But we do want to proceed with this one with the possibility that it could get signed. Okay. Well, then let's just do a four eight five. I mean, like I already know I can sell okay. it higher, but I mean, so like, what if that did happen though? If all of a sudden I. Because, I mean, my, it's one of my regional managers is the ones who's going to end up, he's got the relationship and the mentor. Right. And, so, I mean, if he thinks, I've never really talked to him about our margin strategy or anything like that yet. So, I mean, what if he does think we can do a, I mean, because it's four years out, you know. I mean, everybody knows it's going to be going up. If we just take another extra mill or two, I mean, on top of what they're already right. currently paying, it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's, no, that's a good idea. So, I mean, he may, he may want to do higher. You're talking about long term. Yeah, so we'll just whatever. I'll cut it pretty close. So forty-eight. Yeah, that's good enough. He'll want to well, do higher, but four nine. We can do that too. I just the reason why I brought that up is because I think mostly short term, like twelve and twenty-four months, and in those cases, people want to rate lower than what they're currently. Doing. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah. So if you're if you're comfortable with that, I want to do what you're gonna do for real. All right. Well then, yeah, four nine. Let's go. Which one? The NG? Oh, okay, yeah. Do we want to go with NG? Sure. Let's let's try it. I mean, I want to make sure. Is that is, is that one that you? 
feel comfortable going with? I mean, I honestly have never done a sail through them, but I mean, um, I mean that's seven one versus what's the next closest one? I mean, there's not really. It's like almost a whole. Like six five three. You know, so. Right. I mean, I might do some research on it. And that's what I'm saying. I might reset this one, but I doubt. I mean, I don't know anything about them at all. I'm never even. They have high customer service ratings and stuff. I mean, they're just not like a company that's got a bad rep, so. Right, it's not that I've heard. Yeah, I've only seen a one bill total here in Houston with NG on it. <laughs> that's why I'm, like, concerned a little bit. Gotcha. Uh, let's uh, do, uh, get, I've, I've always wanted to get into Green Mountain there, so, I mean, let's do the 653. Okay. Option, which for some reason I'm only showing up, up front. front yeah. Gonna, is that what you would want anyway? For, I mean, because I mean, I think it's the reason why it's, rather, it's set like that because I mean, on the every big deal I've ever done that's like millions or whatever, they're gonna give you a certain percent up front, always, usually. I mean, and then you take the rest residual. I mean, I've uh, that's always been the talk, at least what I've heard. Is what are you going to take up, you well, know, as a payout in the very beginning? We do, when, when we work with suppliers, it's either one or the other. So we, oh, you'll, okay. Like, you'll, you'll select up front, whether you, or not up front, but beforehand, whether you want up front or residual payments. Um, the reason why I asked that was because I saw for the drop down for Green Mountain, it's only showing up front. So I was going to call my development team and just have you hold for a second to see what's, you know, if you did want residual, um, what, I, what we would need to do. So I mean that upfront means like I forego all my residuals and just get like a lump sum payout and be done with it. Well, we do so upfront. We do twelve months at a time. So you would actually get your first twelve months and then each additional twelve months on the anniversary of the deal. Okay, so next year you'd get, on you'd the get four, you would get four lump sum payments. Of, of oh, payments okay, yeah, that's for that's. A contract. Okay, yeah, okay, I got you. All right. Yeah, leave it up front. Okay. On this page, you're going to enter who their current supplier is. Uh, do they have a current supplier, or is it directly through the utility? No, it's with Hudson. Gotcha. And how many, you said it was one meter number, or one account number? Yeah, that's one ESID, yeah. Gotcha, so we'll keep this at one. Um, like I said, for any of these, it looks like an engine I'll see they're going to ex look on expanding this, but right now it goes up to 10, so keep that on that's just for the daily matrix stuff right correct okay yeah because that 10 ain't gonna cut it <laughs> really yeah. yeah so at this point we're gonna press next step it'll take you to contract step two this page the electricity prices page it's just an overview of the deal you selected you're not going to change anything you'll just press next step again And then it's going to take you to the page where you're going to enter the So what's the name of the business? Um, here. What are they doing business as? Is it a company that's a VBA? Uh, looks to be, for sure, I think. It okay. says, uh... Yeah, let me know what both of those are, then. It says, um... Wow. Bindle Inc. You know, I might just can I just take a picture. Can you take a picture of that and email it to me? Yeah, I was gonna say, can I just email it to you? Cause yeah, that would probably be easier. All right. Uh, what's your what's your email? Basically the same as Lauren's, um, just replace Lauren with Emily, or, <laughs> Lauren with Steven. 
So it's just Steven, S T E V E N, at. What'd you say the. Broker online exchange. Okay, broker. Okay, it's sent. Oh, gotcha. So it's just his first name, Michael Daly. Yeah. The place is a bar. I mean, it's Molly's Pub, but definitely not that on there. Where does it say that? Is that anywhere on the bill? No, that's just the name that's out front of the place. Oh, gotcha. Huh. Interesting. This Man. guy, I mean, he's got 17. Yeah, he's got 17 different places, so. Right. It's a bar. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, it is, I, so you'll obviously pick the business type. We know since it's incorporated in the industry, um, like what it is, but it I don't feel like it matches any of these. Press others. Like, I, okay. Anything with a red asterisk is what is immediately going to be required. So you'll see tax ID. You can omit that at this point. We'll reach out to you if the supplier says they need because for a lot of your matrix deals, tax IDs won't be necessary unless if it's needed for like a credit check purpose. Yeah, the custom pricing deals are the ones that usually were there. For TXU, uh, are you guys not have a relationship with TXU? No, we do. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't see them on that list. Um, oh, you're talking about in the pricing? Yeah. Their matrix we may sucks. Have just, uh, not gotten their matrix in today yet or something. I'd have to reach back out. But yeah, I mean, I actually uh, am in the process of closing a deal with them as we speak. Oh, so you do your own broker deals too? We don't. When I say I, I mean like a, a broker I'm helping. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, why don't you, are you not allowed to? You guys the tools. Do what? That's what I was going to say. Are you not allowed to? Like I mean, yeah, like we, what we does the does Benji Do does Benji have his own deals? <laughs> nah, I don't think he does. Huh. I was just curious, but yeah, go ahead. So the next step is going to be your legal business address. This is going to be the billing address on the bill. Four nine zero five. And then the customer's contact details. So, Michael Daly. Yeah, owner, you said, or manager? He's the owner. Gotcha. And do you have his email and phone number by chance? I don't. Uh, gotcha. So, I mean, um, 
I could get it if I just I had call. I mean, called Grant and stuff. I just I didn't really. I would have been more prepared, I guess, in that regard. Gotcha. Well, just a heads up. You will. Uh, you'll need email and phone numbers um, for you know basically to when you're getting in for a contract. Because what? And so when you enter all this info, it populates the contract. Right. Yeah, I mean, I see what we're filling out here and stuff. Um, why does the email address have to be that important? A lot of suppliers require it, and also we have a DocuSign feature, and that's where it would come into play, because if you have an email, um, you wouldn't even have to save the document and email it to them or anything. You could just send the document for signature, and it would automatically send to them. And as soon as they sign it, it would already be back in the engine. You wouldn't have to upload it or anything. Oh. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that, is, that makes it pretty imperative. <laughs> makes yeah, my life a lot I mean, easier. You can still do it with, uh, without DocuSign, but we would, an, an email and a phone number are still required in those, those instances. Okay, um, well, what are we going to do for that right now? Um, just to, if you, because you can edit this after the fact, we can just put, um, just put a, just here, I'll give you, put G-H-O, G-H-O, at Erico, A-A-R-A-C-O, energy.com. Gotcha. And, the, I mean, he's the, I mean, the guy's his mentor, so I don't, whatever. Uh, 832-403-1459. Uh, four, three, uh, 1459. Um, at that point, your next stop is your side detail. Oh, there it is. I need zero. Six. Okay. Right. We'll have an additional information section. This section is if there's anything else you feel like you need to word or notate, you can do that here. Um, you can leave it as well. You'll see there's a projected commission schedule. Right now, I think that's probably on. So keep in mind the dates are a little, because uh, if you get to close today, start in April. Would likely be paid in February. Find that they're still updating the on here um, in terms of the accuracy of the date, so for that a little bit for now. Okay. Um, so when you scroll past that, you'll see a generate PDF button, but you don't want to do that just yet. Um, what you're going to want to do first is upload the bill copy, and I'll do that real quick since you just sent that to me.
I'm going to drop down and go to the file that I just saved. That's once you see it, press upload files. File uploaded, you'll see drop down here is a thumbnail. Once you see it, uh, you'll want to press save as draft. Then I'm going to take you back to your contracts tab where every contract you've ever, ever generated will be. You'll find it by the name of the one. Okay, Federal Inc. I'm working on all the way to the right. Press this generate button under actions. All right. It'll take us back to kind of where we just were, but it's a different format now. So in the case of which you want to change any info, like with the contact details or anything, um, Go in here and change it, press save. I know or something. And then um, documents here. Quick build. We'll press generate PDF at this point. That's your next step when you first come in. Notice it has our They'll have and these contracts at the Green Mountains uh, contract at that point. It's got all the information populated. In. So if you would like, if, uh, there's two ways at this point. I, there's the old school, the new school way. The old school way, um, which I kind of referenced earlier, is save this to your desktop, which you could even do that for record keeping purposes anyway, if you wanted. Um, but if you wanted, Old school way, whether it be by email or print it out and get it to them, um, you can this to your desktop wherever you have that, and then do it from there. If you that way, and they send it back to you, how you would go about uh, finishing it? Go back in like we just did for this drop down. You would go to paper contract and then just upload the signed contract like you did the bill copies previously. Okay. Um, now, the way DocuSign works, which don't worry, I'm not going to fully send it out yet, because uh, I know I know you're going to be the one that wants to do that whenever you got everything right in there. But you'll see there's a generated contract thumbnail after we press the generate PDF button. Well, on the right, you'll see approve. So you'll want to press approve. That's going to refresh the page. And when you do that, you'll notice now there's a little checkbox next to it. Press that checkbox. You'll then press the blue button that says send documents for six. And as soon as you press that button, it'll uh, the email that you put in for the customer's contact details for them to sign. And it'll walk them through, have them do an electronic signature, and have them fill each line that needs a signature. And then once they press finish, it will automatically, um, you'll see that the status here is approved. Well, let me refresh this page real quick. You'll see the status, once it's been sent for signature, what's going to say approved. Press send documents for Status will change for awaiting signature, and then once they press finish, just refresh, the status will officially be assigned. It will already be back in the engine. Um, so for DocuSign, once you see that the generated contract thumbnail is in sign status, and then you've got your bill copies uploaded, you just submit contract button in blue next to this edit button. It will only show up once it's come back signed, and then when you press it, it will go in for approval. Um, once it's gone in for approval, when it's been officially confirmed by the supplier, you'll receive a confirmation via telling you, hey, it's done. No confirmation for your records, basically. Okay. Make sense? Yep. Well, cool. So right before we move on to anything else, um, basically the next step on this one for you, like you said, is, uh, I mean, are you reaching out to this customer later today? No, he's actually in Ireland. He doesn't come back till next week on Monday. Oh, gotcha. Well, I, actually, I'm glad you brought that up because when you do come back in here, um, you'll go back in like we just did. But um, so if I go to the contracts tab, let's say you want to come back in here like you, a week from now, you'll go to the under action. It's now a blue submit button. You'll press submit. This won't submit the contract yet. Does it just reprice it or something? Not yet, but you are going to want to do that. And so how you'll do it is you'll go into uh, contract details, scroll to the bottom, and for, actually, hold on one second. You want to press edit first. When you press 
an edit, it'll be like, are you sure you want to make the changes to the contract? That, then you'll go to contract details, fresh pricing. What that will do is price the same, and you'll see the difference on the margin. Right, you can change yeah. the margin any way you want to change the selling price, whatever the case may be. Yep. And then, once you've made the change you want to make necessary, or if you're okay with the adjustment, press OK. And then um, you press save. Once you've saved it, um, you'll have to re the PDF. The previous one will change. Right. Okay. Yep. Cool, cool. So, um, so for, uh, the, the next section we'll go over is custom pricing. So with this, you'll go to uh, you'll go to custom quotes. This one actually, uh, do you? I mean, are you comfortable? Like, do you have anybody would sign an LOE if uh, you went to get you were searching pricing for them? Like this account specifically is going to have an LOE on it. Okay. Well, if you let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and go through that one, and we, that way we can already get this rolling. I mean, it's not already signed or anything, but he's going to sign it when he gets back, right? So. Right. Just deal you're talking about. Is it electricity or gas? It's electricity. Gotcha. That's commercial. Is it um, Texas still? Yes. Okay, and Centerpoint still Houston? Yep. Well, I mean, it's the, the same. It's the same quote. I mean, it's the same place. That's what you're. Oh, I might. You you want me to give you another one that's got like multiple meters? Or something that exceeds a million in annual volume. Hmm. If you don't want to do it right now, we can just go through as an example. That's what I was just gonna say. Just go through an example right now because uh, there's a. I don't feel like going through. I I did wasn't really prepared to have a million kilowatt hour example. I have one, but it's like, uh, no worries, no worries. I just wanted I, I I I wanted you to have one ready for the matrix. That way, we would um have something partially completed for you. Um, for the custom pricing, I just want to make sure you get the process down. I mean, all this is pretty standard to me. I mean, a lot of these, right. it's kind of just. And this database is even really simply laid out. I mean, if I can't figure this out, then I've got problems. I wish you could tell some of the other brokers that. Really? They, I mean, this I is like this... I mean, I don't know. It's very straightforward. I don't hey, let, me, let, me tell, let me tell you like this. I had somebody I was talking to one time that didn't know how to minimize a screen. Oh, dear God in heaven. <laughs> oh, my God. That's gonna be some. Oh wow! Yeah, I mean, when they don't, when when they see the red X and they don't know what a red X does, I'm just like, all right. Dude, yeah, on. holy crap! How do you even attack that guy? I mean, how would you even think about training somebody like that? You'd be like, you better write, record the audio, like do something. I mean, dude, you won't get anywhere. Yeah. They have the connection. It's just teaching them the technology. Yeah, I bet you get a lot of those. That's where I came in a lot. I mean, that's as I was coming up through the ranks in the oil field, all the old old ass oil field guys were just like, "Here, you, you're good at Excel. Here, you're good at programming." Yeah, <laughs> just like, "Yeah, sure, why not? Awesome. Just drop it all on me. Let's go." Oh my god. Right, right, right. All right, cool. Well, yeah, this last section we're gonna talk through is this, um, and the reason why is you'll see you're only gonna use the engine initiate custom pricing. Um, so basically you're going to enter all the basic info. Let's just say, for example, this was a 3 million kilowatt hour deal. And you'll press the requested start date, March. Once you've entered in all that info, the last page you're even going to use in the custom deal. Um, it's going to ask you for basically all of the info. You're going to get the contacts info, business info, 
I mean, that's so... Did you say it again? Oh, no, I was just saying, yeah, I mean, it's just so... Right, right, yeah. I mean, <laughs> just confirming what I'm saying, yeah. I can read it. the prices that you want to see, uh, or the term links you want to see pricing for. And you'll see there's a broker margin section. You can keep this at zero if you want to get the raw rates from the supplier, or if you know exactly how much margin you want to add in, you can indicate that way you get the pricing back with the margin already calculated in. Mm -hmm. The price by date, basically what this is, is your custom deals, because they're larger, more complex, you actually have to plan these out pretty well. So um, with matrix pricing like you saw, it's on the spot pricing you can get immediately based off the criteria from the bill copy. Right. But with custom prices, it takes at least a few business days to get pricing from suppliers. I mean, center point. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I could see right, that. Like I mean, I guess I could. Usage. Yeah, you can get their usage really quick, but pricing. But for I, the suppliers to get their pricing and analyze all that info, it normally takes two, at least two to three business days to get some pricing back. Yeah, and that's whatever. I mean,. Honestly, when I first started out in the industry, that's always what I told uh, clients, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go shop the market. Or I'll be back in like two right. days, you know, whatever, when the pricing comes in, you know, yeah, that's pretty standard still. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure you were, you were using that. Yeah, I just, yeah, there, I've seen somebody get a more faster method of doing pricing and stuff, so. But, oh, he what started implementing it, and I don't even know, he won't tell me. This why I partnered ways with him. I mean, just somebody doesn't share any sort of relevant knowledge. I, What's I like, man, I wouldn't know what that is. Cause it's, it's yeah, I mean, it's probably not even legal. Who knows? I mean, I don't even want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm just like... like insider information getting... Right, I mean, and he's like, you know, with whole... Yeah, just wasn't... More, we weren't progressing. <laughs> he's in my way. I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, yeah, so basically, like I mentioned, so let's just say, for example, if you'll, it'll pull up a calendar here. And so let's say you're meeting with the customer on next Friday, February 3rd. That, that is the price by date. Basically, like a tentative date deadline for the suppliers in which you're like, hey, this is the day I'm meeting with the customer and they want to sign. Then we need the pricing and con, you know, the pricing for. Um, number of sites, that's pretty standard, that's the number of accounts that are on the deal. Current rates, if, um, if you want to put what they're current, currently paying is, or uh, if you want to offer, if there is a, I guess if there was like a utility price to compare or something, you could enter that in here. Yes. See, what I, want, what I want to know is like, okay, so what if every meter is paying a different price? What if every meter has a different contract end date and we're trying to stagger start everything and simplify one contract end date, you know, all the meters, one fixed rate, you know. Right. I just dealt with that with another deal I was helping somebody a couple weeks ago. Um, I mean, that's a standard for me, like kind of a, like I, these really? are the ones I do every day of the week. So if, I mean, I'm going to need that big time. It's one of my I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you my answer because I'm sure you're going to be a fan of it. You're going to show me your what? I, I'm going to give you my answer, but I'm not 100% sure if you're going to be a fan of it. Oh, Lord. Um, unless if you want them to be, I mean, you can do them as separate, because it sounds like they're separate contracts that they have different endings. And unless you want to keep them on separate contracts, you want to get them on the same contract with the synonymous start date, you probably want to wait until the last, like, the ones that end sooner, have them go on variable until the last one ends, and then get them all to start on the same one. Right, or you could just do different contract term links for each one, right? But that would be separating the contracts. They wouldn't be the same contract. I got like you. Like, we're trying to figure out how to get them on one contract, right? I want to make sure I'm understanding you correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, I got you. Right. Now, like, I, um, I, just as an example, I had a guy who had a deal that was, some of the accounts were ending, some were ending at the beginning of April, and I was like, those ones that end in March, let them go on variable for a little bit and contract them all together for an April start. And that's what he did. Okay. Well, I mean, see, it's it's fine, but 
Let me just ask you this, straight up. Huh? What if I got 1,802 meters for one account that all have different contract end dates, all have different starts? I mean, like, how are you going to be able to do that in this engine? Well, first off, if it's that deal, you won't do it in the engine because that's going to be a custom deal. Right, well, in this custom pricing deal right here. Right, which we'll, we'll, we'll talk to that about that here in a second. But also, right before we get to that, let me ask you, on that, does it span multiple utilities or multiple states? Yep. That, so, also, if a, if a deal spans multiple states, you have to break it up into the states that are in. Can't do one right, I'll do one. I'll do okay. each state at a time, right? But like uh like for instance like So you're saying you have a deal that's eighteen hundred meters for one state? Yeah. <clears throat> Is it all the same utility too? Uh it's actually it's a very it's like it's like a mix, like the AEP is gonna be like one of the providers or suppliers. Um, well, No, that's what I'm saying. They're under various ones. Oh, gotcha. Um, they're oil and gas wells, you know. They're everywhere. I mean, they're spread out. Right, right, right. South Texas assets to West Texas Permian Basin assets, you know. So it's like a whole group. I have to double check because I haven't come across this in Texas yet. But in all the other markets I've checked, if it spans multiple utilities, you have to break it up by different utilities as well. Which is fine too. I just like we're all learning this together, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Like, I mean, we're all gonna be going through this together. I haven't done these accounts yet until now. I mean, I got almost. I have six of them coming to you, and they're all multiple states, and they're all like huge, 500 meters here, whatever there. You know, it's just a uh, group bulk deals like that. So I mean, we'll fine tune something, or have to maybe even develop something in here just for me. They go in here because that's the kind of I'm going to have to have it pretty efficiently and pretty, uh, once I get all these bills and everything and all the contact well, info for these right, other accounts, like, I want to move fast. Right, but like I said, like I said with the time, like the timing of when that pricing comes, I mean, you're going to, you're not going to get anything that, because the purpose of our engine is with matrix and custom pricing has to still be done primarily through. So yeah, I mean, if you have a deal that's got 18, you know, 500 meters, whatever the case may be, like we can get it pressed, obviously, if we get, like, an LOE sign. Like, that's not an issue. I'm just letting you know that if it spans multiple utilities, there's a chance that it would be broken up into separate deals based on each utility. Right, and I'll have my own, I guess, well, I kind of, I mean, now it's like whenever I have you as my person showing me all this stuff like that, I mean, I wonder who they're going to give me off to. Will I just be able to call him or whatever whenever I uh, get that deal brought in and stuff, and then we're ready to sit down? I mean, they'll help me with it. Sure, if it's yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're not expected to like be like 100 percent master on everything, and obviously everything we go through. I mean, I want you to refer back to me with any questions you may have. Well, right. I mean, because I waited specifically uh, to create this agreement with y'all until it was all about to just boom, all of a sudden. Wow, holy crap! What happened? Right. You know, like so. That's what's supposed to be coming here within within two months. You're just gonna be exploded like through there. Okay, we're good. Looking forward to it. Um, Okay, so the next step basically is you'll see you have account numbers here. (laughs) You're going to laugh when I say this, but because a lot of people aren't working, the custom bills are working, aren't near as big as the ones you're working. But this allows you to enter up to 30. If it exceeds 30, like a lot of yours will, if you have like the LOA signed with the hood file. Yeah, with the Excel spreadsheet. You said, you said LOA, LOA sign with, like, all the... I mean, I won't be able to fit all the meter information on... Uh, or what did you ask? I didn't... Right, sorry. Let's skip that. If it, if it exceeds that. Okay, yeah. I would just skip yeah. that and then upload it right there, right? Exactly. Yeah. You got your hood file. I mean, I'm telling you, it's, I, don't make it harder than it is. It's, it's super simple. If you got the Excel hood file, just upload the hood file for us. Okay. Um, so you got the hood file, LOE. Obviously, want to make sure that um, you know that's critical as well. And then, um, 
Well, I mean, the LOE is not, I mean, why is the LOE so critical? You mean the LOA? No, the LOE. That's the exclusive, I mean, that's an exclusivity. Letter of exclusivity. So why do we need that to do a custom price deal? Right, well, take into account the deal that you just, like, you're Well, yeah, I mean, I would do that, but I'm saying, like, I mean, if we're talking, like, Eight seventeen meters or whatever. I mean, you know what? I mean, I guess you're right. I mean, right. all those deals, I probably well, would. That would definitely to, run through my comes, mind. Right. Well, what it comes down to is any time, any time, regardless of the size. I mean, obviously, it's going to be at least a meter or more. But any time you're doing a deal that's large enough to custom, regardless of the size of the custom deal, there's time and resources. Obviously, it's going to be more time and resources for the large ones you're talking about. But there's still Instead of just having something ready that they can price, there's people actually annually looking over the info and determining and getting the pricing. If that's the case, they already know there's other suppliers pricing. That's one factor that they're already like, all right, we're competing against suppliers. They don't want to be competing against other brokers at the same time. So in order for them to price and have make them feel like they have a good chance of at least closing the deal, they, they now require a low to be Right. And it's funny because I'd love, yeah, I'd love to these people come after the CEOs and have a better relationship than I do. You know, it's like, heh, let's go. But yeah, I know I need the LOE just regardless, and I am going to do that for all these bigger accounts. But and it would cross my mind, I guess, when I'm thinking on that scale. But so yeah, that all. And that'll benefit you too because if someone. Well, yeah, exactly. That deal, this partner's going to be like, uh, LOE, sorry, that deal, you can't price it. It's going to be all yours. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, I'll just make sure everybody underneath me knows that too. And so. Okay. Sounds good. So, once you've got all of your attachments in here, your last step is basically just enter additional information. You're actually going to actually put stuff in here for custom pricing. This is where you'll enter whether you want residual or upfront. Um, if there's any price suppliers you want to make sure for sure price the deal, you want to enter them in here. Um, if anything that's going to help the supplier price too. So if they're, um, if you know, what they're currently paying, if you didn't enter it previously, or if there's a price that the supplier or the supplier, if there's a price that the customer specifically looking for, that would be something helpful to enter in here as well. Okay. Once you've entered all that, you'll press send, and you're done with the engine entirely for your custom deal at that point. Press send, all of your additional info, all the attachments, all the account and business information, it's going to be sent to your business manager, and then they from there with our supplier team in New York will reach out to the suppliers to price. So since we're not in the engine anymore, you're probably thinking, how, do I, how are we going to track and get this deal done? Well, it's going to be done primarily via email. So they'll email you the prices when they get it. Um, if you had a price by date in which it's for, you'll likely get it for that day. Um, if, uh, you know, imagining you go to the customer and present the prices and they want to go with one of them, let us know with, because it's a custom deal, we have to get a, con they have to get a contract approved by their management on the supplier end. Let us know which supplier and term length contract you need. We will then get to you to be and then once you get it signed and sent back to us, we'll get it back to the supplier for approval. And then just like we talked about with matrix deals, anytime you have a deal that goes into confirmation, once it's been officially confirmed, you'll receive that confirmation via email. So all pretty standard. Do you have any questions over anything we talked about? Uh, not at all. I just kind of want to see all these uh, reporting features and all that kind of stuff. That's what I was looking forward to. Okay. Yeah, I'm meeting with somebody and uh, three people on my um, oh, nice. Good deal. sales team. They all have individual stuff that they're meeting with, and I had to I have to call some people to find out some information. So, what time is it? Right. Oh, it's only Say twelve. Again. Well, how about this? What I'll do is I'll let you do your thing, get back back to work, and I will follow up with you tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, so I mean, that's basically all the nit like nitty gritty kind of stuff. The other stuff, just like added value services you guys offer as far as sales tools or reporting or whatever. I heard you guys are developing yeah, a CRM. What, what, like, what specifically are you mentioning? 
I don't know, somebody was talking about a CRM and stuff that you guys were going to be implementing or that we can use. Oh, right. That's something that's still in development. Um, if you're looking about adding sub-agents, um, we, Not... we do, we're in the process of getting um, white labels developed. Um, just a few extra things like that that are being implemented that are in, in the works. Like, so on that pricing eat or whatever that's generated, you know, with all the different, pri I mean, I call it, I like to call it the pricing presentation. Um, so you guys are allowed to use those people's logos and everything like that, and... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can it's something that's still in the process, like I said, um, but it's, I mean, I don't have any sub-agents that, right, that, that are going to be working under you. We can, um, see about getting you some info of, uh, getting that implemented a little bit. But we, we primarily want to only send that with people that are going to be having sub-agents work in there, so that way... If anybody under them, they don't see our stuff and then try to come to us directly. And that way we at least have a – There's a, we know that we can receive a commitment from them of some consistent deal flow since there's sub-agents that will be working in the industry. Right. <clears throat> and I do have uh, maybe some I – mean, several people in mind for that. But, uh, I mean, it's not imperative at all. I mean, it's fine funneling through me into a big deal. Right. I just, I'll be in West Texas a lot here coming up in the next couple of weeks, and uh, I wanted to have somebody okay, wanted to have somebody knowledgeable enough to, you know, run this stuff. I mean, I'll be able to do it from my phone too, right? All this crap, or is it? You should be able to. I haven't. I mean, I've had some people come across some complications with it. I've primarily only had people work with it with computers and tablets. Um, so my iPad will work. My iPad will work, or do you mean the tablet, like the Surface tablet? Like, like a, right, iPad. Like, iPad is in the realm of tablets. So, okay, so, I mean, I'll, I mean, I have an iPad, too, so, I mean, it will, I mean, whatever. I just wanted to make sure somebody else, I mean, I, I kind of don't even want to want to get somebody trained on this and do it for me, you know, but. Right. Because um, I do not have time a day to really do all this nitty gritty stuff like this, I mean, unless they're my own deals, you know, so. Right. But, uh, yeah, regardless, um, it seems very straightforward. I mean, a lot of my people are knowledgeable just like me because I've trained them all personally, like 18 of them. So um, each individually, each individual person's got their own niche in the markets, like churches and whatever. You know, I'd like to have right. like maybe three people total as sub agents, but I mean, I don't know, then that will require them to meet certain standards, you know, and I don't know. Maybe, I don't think they'll feel comfortable with that until we get moving along here a little bit further. You know, they get their money built up and stuff like that and their sales pipeline built and accessed, you know, fully and get a movement, you know, going, so. Right. Well, you, uh, I'll send you a follow-up email so you have my contact info as well, but it, and if you have any questions, obviously you can reach out to me. Uh, but I'll plan on giving you a call tomorrow. Okay, yeah. You, that... Like I said, if you have any issues, just let me know. Okay, yeah, that sounds great, Steven. I really appreciate the time, you know, training me and all this stuff like that. I mean, it's it's very... Yeah, it's... if you have any other questions, like I know you were asking some other stuff. I mean, like I mentioned, like Lauren 